Have you ever dived in or simply pushed off the wall and felt your goggles peel down your face, either ending up in your mouth or round your neck? You're not alone. It's a common problem that is far too often poorly solved by purely just tightening your goggle straps so much that you're left with goggle indentation marks for several hours after your session. Well, neither of those are an ideal situation, so let's tackle how to stop our goggles falling off. The size and shape of your goggles will obviously have an effect on how well they stick to your face. And it's the overall size, if it's too large, then it's going to be more likely to fall off when you make contact with the water in a dive or if you push too hard off the wall. And if you think about it, the larger the lens, the larger the surface area. So it's going to be more area for the water to exert pressure on. And it's usually that top edge of the goggles that's gonna hit the water first. And that's why you find your goggles actually peeling down your face. So in order to fix this, you'll need to find a goggle that is appropriate for your face shape. So it needs to obviously fit, but also be comfortable. And it's very much personal preference. Sadly, it isn't one size fits all. And it isn't necessarily the smaller, the better. It's about the shape. And this is where trial and error comes in. The more goggles you can try, the more likely you are to find the perfect fit. And you can get quite a lot of benefit from trying on land. So it's even new goggles that if you put them on your face, you'll feel if there's any gaps or just how they naturally sit on your eye socket. And if you're lucky enough to have friends with different goggles and you're swimming in a group, see if you can experiment at the end of the session. And like we mentioned, the smaller goggle might be less likely to fall off, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the better fit. Sometimes a larger goggle with a bigger seal will stay in place more and it's less likely to leak and unsurprisingly a goggle that doesn't leak is also more likely to stay on when you push off so with that in mind how do we address the leaky goggle A good test is to place the goggles onto your face without the straps behind your head and just sort of push them in fairly tight and then bend forwards and see if they stay on your face. And also to feel if there's a seal against your eye sockets and even partially it's a good indicator that you'll get on well with them. And then when you do pull the straps over to complete the fit, there shouldn't be any undue pressure towards your eyes and the nose clip shouldn't be pressing hard into the bridge of your nose. And there's also the option of goggles that are custom made to fit your face. Magic 5, for example, will use an app on your phone which scans your face and the goggles are made bespoke to the shape of your eye socket. And it is a little bit more costly, but it's a perfect way to find that leak-free seal. Okay, so once you are happy with the fit and the comfort of your goggles, you can leave that to the side. It's now time to address the mechanics of the actual dive or the push-off itself, because no matter how well your goggles fit, if you haven't got the right technique when it comes to the streamlining, you're still going to get a leak and maybe even your goggles coming off altogether. Head position is key. Think about tucking your head in, trying to have your chin almost touching your chest. Secondly, stretch your arms out in front of you whilst gently squeezing the sides of your head. And also think about keeping your hands one on top of the other for good streamlining as you break the surface of the water. Now your arms will act almost as a shelter to your face and therefore your goggles, meaning less force exerted on them and as a result, they should stay put. There are a few other tricks which you can easily adapt to help your goggles stay on and a really basic one is wearing a swimming cap because it just gives a slightly better surface for your goggle strap to grip to say compared to having conditioned hair or maybe no hair at all so even for guys with short hair wearing a cap will just give that extra traction and if you are not used to wearing a swim cap and you've got a race coming up it's also good practice alternatively you could use a cap to sort of hold your goggle strap in place so put your goggles on first then your cap over the top and you might notice that this is where mark and i differ if you watch our videos, Mark wears his cap over his straps, whereas I prefer to have my straps on the outside. And you could take it one step further again and double up, which is quite useful in races. So you wear your nice, comfortable, normal silicone cap, then you put your goggle strap on. And quite often with races, you get given those latex caps, which aren't so nice against your hair. You can simply put that one over the top and that will really keep your goggles perfectly secure. Finally, it's worth considering the placement of your goggle straps. All too often you see people wearing their straps too low and if you think about it, your goggles tend to normally fall off down your face. Therefore, you want to make sure that you've got your goggle straps actually up high enough.
Your straps should sit above your ears and definitely not over them. That's a good place to start. Most goggles tend to have two straps, so we suggest placing one just below the crown of your head and then the second one about an inch or two above, which should create a stable platform for holding the rest of the goggles in place. A few tweaks and just a little bit of time spent fitting your goggles correctly before swimming can save you a huge amount of frustration. There's nothing worse than mid-session having to continually adjust your goggles. So if you've enjoyed our tips and tweaks today, do give us a like. You can follow us on our social media channels and you can also subscribe to us here on YouTube.